The Artscape recently paid tribute to Mama Makeba. The event was put together by Women Unite and the concert featured some of Miriam's old friends and a host of other young talents, singing her beloved songs and filling the theatre with her spirit. Today, we're here to salute this great icon of a woman who said in her own words, I am irreplaceable, Bob. No one will replace Mama Makeba. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us tonight as we celebrate the life of a great, great lady, Mama Gogo. She was such a special lady. We who spent a lot of time with her found something amazing about this woman that was larger than life. She loved jokes. And sometimes she would tell jokes and start laughing first. You need to wait for her to calm down, and by the time if the joke was not funny, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, mama, you kill me. <laughs> Her life itself, which is a hard and a difficult life, also showed that art and music are a universal language through which messages of hope and change can be spread. As much as she represented us, there are times when we did not know her because she was branded as a terrorist. She was a terrorist who came out of South Africa to harm South Africa. But she did not do that. She left this country to represent all South Africans. When she left the country, she introduced what was going on in South Africa. She also represented the continent and made us look good in the rest of the world. Not only did she keep the fire of our struggle burning in her exile years, but her music and her songs spoke also to the joys and pains of real life, of children, of broken love affairs, of celebration, of heartache and of pain. tonight to see, especially with the young people who are still carrying on doing the music, the African music that Miriam carried that torch all over the world. I felt so proud because now you know that we are getting older, but our children are carrying on this torch of our own music. Because I'm a young artist, she has been later introduced to my life because I grew up at a time where there was other kind of music. I actually fell in love with the more older kind of, you know, jazzy music. So for me, this was amazing. Oh, mama, now we were teaching these youngsters the, the real music, the music of the 50s. And they seem to be getting it so well and doing the music, singing the song so beautifully. Born in 1932, Mama Keva believed in being a natural woman. She also had a style that nobody else 
could ever come close to and say, we know what it was. Who doesn't want to be her? When I grow up, I want to be her. I'm extremely proud to be actually giving tribute to one of the greatest ladies of song, and not only a great lady of song, a activist and someone who fought for human rights like Miriam Makeba. Mama Makeba left a legacy to be followed. Mama Makeba said, don't divide us, unify us.